Here is a brief uh, tutorial video on using the new uh, HTML5 fallback and expiring download link features of our RTMP player plugin for WordPress. Enjoy. So this is Collaborate. First, uh, let's create a uh, public CloudFront distribution. And the thing to realize is that the S, the same Amazon S3 origin bucket that is serving the CloudFront distribution is also going to be your HTML fallback server. So let me uh, demonstrate this. Let's just go and kind of create a new bucket. Thinking. Okay. Uh, let's call it uh, WWNS3. For clarity, remember bucket names have to be unique. All right, and let's just create a uh, CloudFront distribution from it. Where is that? CloudFront, new CloudFront distribution wizard. It's going to be a streaming bucket. leave all parameters as default and let's next okay and basically all you really need to do first of all you set the ACL for this to uh, first of all you want to you don't want to enable you want to um, you do not want to enable read access at the bucket level because otherwise they can list the directory contents of your bucket for the um, for s3 okay so leave that off Okay, but basically all you really need to do is, um, you know, bring your file into into the bucket. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to set the ACL on the file to enable read access to everyone as follows. Right click ACL settings and then all users read. Okay. And then what you do is, um, if you right click on the web URL and you look at the RTMP, that is your public CloudFront distribution, which you're going to need to paste into the RTMP player right here, public streaming server. Okay, paste that in. and the public fallback server is quite simply the um, S3 bucket, which is the HTTP access or the HTTP version of this bucket. So that's under from a web URL under HTTP. That's it. That's just your your bucket name, www.ns3.amazonist.com that you're going to paste in to the public fallback bucket um, RTMP player, which is going to be down here, okay, right here. And you're going to want to check one of these. We recommend that you just check Enable Automatic HTML Fallback for, uh, it's going to detect the uh, videos delivered to mobile devices and it will enable the fallback only for those or just for testing or if you want to make sure that people get your content, just uh, click on both, okay. So at this point, you've completed the HTML fallback configuration for a public bucket. Now setting up the private HTML5 fallback bucket is only slightly more complicated provided that you have completed the steps in the third video which is um, how to create your private key and key pair ID. So let's assume you've done that and I'll go ahead and do that. I'll show you how it's done but basically click on a new bucket Uh, let's call it uh, WWN private. Butterfingers. Okay. And you're going to right click, you're going to create CloudFront distribution. It's going to be a streaming. You, you know, remember you have to create the RTMP streaming distribution always uh, since we're doing RTMP streaming here by definition and correct 
use default parameters is fine. Now when you enable private content distribution by default it's going to select the policy and the um, uh, private key that you've already created so we can just leave that by default. Uh, you are going to want to add yourself as trusted signer. You're going to go next and you're going to want to enable distribution. Okay so now you've created the private uh, RTMP bucket and now back to Cloudberry uh, you're going to want to get the the, the the bucket URL which is basically under right click WWN private web URL click on RTMP and just fetch the first part of this URL here and paste that into your private bucket inside RTMP player, RTMP player dashboard which is here sorry not not private bucket but private streaming server basically in here Okay, and then you're going to want to, of course, uh, you know, set your private key, uh, upload your private key file and your key pair ID, um, and you'll be good to go. And at that point, you can just use this syntax here, um, you know, RTMP player, file name equals X, XXX, expires equals 60. The presence of the expires parameter basically activates the uh, private distribution, and it will fetch that the, the file from the private bucket using the authenticated um, URL that's encrypted with your with your private key and it will expire after X seconds and you can look at the test page or the test page of the the RTMP player sales page as it has a couple test videos on the bottom that you can check now to create your private HTML5 fallback server um, which is actually the same as your private download server um, well first of all before we do that you want to set the ACL for that bucket to enable read access to CloudFront Origin so that CloudFront Origin can fetch the file into the edge server. And then you're going to want to take that, you've already set it up as a CloudFront RTMP bucket, but you're going to need to set it up as a another CloudFront distribution wizard. And in this case, you're going to choose an, a download bucket. Okay, so you can have multiple CloudFront servers being served by the same origin S3 bucket. This is sort of difficult to understand, but once you get it, it's not a, not complicated, okay? So we're, we've already created RTMP bucket for this. Now we're going to create a download bucket. All right, use default parameters, no logging, and we're going to enable private content distribution. The, 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 the origin access key populates by itself. You want to add yourself as trusted signer and you want to enable distribution. Okay. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get that bucket. And um, under uh, web URL, look under HTTP, and you're just gonna pull the server name here from the top, back to the RTMP player dashboard and you're going to put that in the private HTML5 fallback bucket here. Uh, you are going to have to add the HTTP to it. Okay. Now that bucket is not accessible um, to anyone except yourself or your website. Uh, your website is considered as yourself. In other words, no one can get those files from that bucket unless they they have your private key file. And, and if you want to use the, um, you know, so first of all, this will automatically generate the private HTML5 fallback bucket using that, um, you know, anytime you specify a private video, as in here, with the expires parameter, um, and you check that option to enable HTML5 fallback, that will automatically generate the fallback bucket, um, excuse me, it will automatically create the fallback file uh, in those uh, video parameters as it, that, it, that it creates. And the other way that you could use it that's useful is you could use this, uh, you could put a PDF or some other downloadable file inside that bucket. And um, you could generate an expiring download link using the same logic. This is an HTTP download. Okay, so once again, the same Amazon S3 bucket is serving the CloudFront private RTMP and it's serving the CloudFront private HTTP bucket. All right, good luck.